What's going on YouTube? Sneed from Sneed Bumble Tech here with a new series of videos. This is going to be video number one of my top five reasons. And this video in particular is the top five reasons to buy an unlocked smartphone. Before we get started with the main content of the video, I think it's fair that we actually address one of the basic fundamental understandings of cellular networks here in the United States. And here at the bottom, you'll see that I identified the two major types of networks here in the US and the first one is the CDMA technology used by Verizon and Sprint. CDMA technology is not new. It's an older technology that was established probably in the 70s or 80s and Verizon and Sprint are the two major carriers here in the US and of course they're MVNOs uh, that actually use CDMA technology. The other type of technology used for cellular networks here in the US is the GSM network technology which is much more consistent with what is used worldwide. So in this case, the GSM networks here in the U.S. are AT&T and T-Mobile. Now, what does this mean to U.S. cell phone buyers or uh, cell phone subscribers, I should say? The AT&T and T-Mobile networks are very similar. If you have a T-Mobile device or an at t device, they can be used between the two carriers seamlessly. Unless, of course, the phones are locked to the network and they need to be unlocked because they were purchased through the carrier, once they're paid off, you can request the unlock and you have the freedom to use them with either of those networks. In the case of Verizon, their phones are actually unlocked out of the box and they can be used on any network. And in the last one, Sprint, they also lock their devices, uh, but once the device is paid, they will be unlocked and you can use them potentially on any of the networks as well. So the phones with the most flexibility, obviously, are the GSM network phones and the Verizon phones. Sprint, are very, they're very usable once they've been unlocked. So uh, those are the, te uh, the technologies that are used here in the U.S. Now let's get to the top five reasons why you would want to buy an unlocked smartphone. The reason I wanted to make this video, my rationale, is I get asked a ton of questions about where and how to purchase a cell phone. And I always tell people... It just depends. Do you want to buy your phone from a carrier, go into a store like an AT&T store or Verizon store, or do you want to buy it unlocked from an independent seller? And they usually are wanting to buy from a carrier because that's what they know. But you have, their, have other options. So here are my top five reasons, and I'm going to go from five to one, which I feel is uh, kind of the order of importance. So we'll start at number five, and then we'll work our way to the most important number one. Number five is price and selection. You can buy used unlocked cell phones anywhere as low as $20, $30, or $50. That is very affordable. Now, it just depends. What is your price range? Because these unlocked smartphones can even go up to probably $1,000. Okay, so depending on what your budget is going to be, you have a huge range of what you could choose from. Also, the selection. You've got devices that have expandable storage with SD card slots. You have phones that have dual SIM uh, hardware. You have phones that are very large and phablet size, ones that are smaller. You have ones that um, have you know great features or ones that are very basic. So the selection is huge. Uh, number four, international compatibility. This would mean that you could take your phone with you if you were going to go on an international business trip or an international vacation. Say you're going to the Caribbean or you're going to Asia in very remote locations, you could still potentially take your phone with you and then purchase and install a SIM for that local region. Uh, obviously, for people that are you know going on business or for somebody who needs to stay connected on their trip, that would work very well for them. Number three is the dual SIM functionality. This is a lesser known thing, but I feel is very important. Phones that have dual SIM ability can take the SIM that has been installed in it previously, keep it in there, and then also add a second SIM. This is advantageous for somebody who maybe wants to have a business line and a personal line, or maybe somebody who wants a data-only line and somebody who wants you know, another SIM that has data and calls. That offers great flexibility for someone, especially for travelers or people that have the need for having two lines. So that is a really underrated uh, feature that some unlocked phones have. You're probably not going to find this in a cell phone from a carrier store. I've never seen a dual SIM phone. Maybe there have been some, but they've never advertised them or promoted them. Number two, the lack of installments or no need to make payments. 
unlocked phones have to be bought outright. And that actually is a good thing in one respect. Making payments over the life of a phone can be very aggravating. You know, you might be eight or nine months into a cell phone agreement plan and the phone is starting to break down, it's had drops, it's got cracks on the screen, and you're just done with that phone and you don't want it anymore. Well, you're still tied in for another 14 or 16 or 20 installments, whatever you have left on that phone, and you've got no motivation to make those payments. So what you end up having is resentment for your phone because it's not as good as it was day one, and you're still making premium payments on it. So that's aggravating, it's frustrating, and I know that's one of the biggest things that people hate about the 24 or 30 installment payment agreements they make on new devices from carrier stores. And number one, which I feel is the most important, is carrier freedom. The ability to move across different carriers whenever you feel like it. If you have an unlocked smartphone that works on all four carriers, you could literally jump from carrier to carrier from month to month, week to week, whatever you wanted to do. You know, if you're not happy with, you know, the service in a certain area where you live and you just wanted to try it to see if it was any good, you're not tied down to them if you have an unlocked phone. So you could switch. You could say, hey, you know, I, I've tried T-Mobile. I don't like it. I want to try Sprint. Or, you know, I've tried at and I don't like it. I want to try Verizon. With the unlocked phone, you have the ability to move about to different carriers. This could be advantageous in pricing. You know, we've got these unlimited pricing wars that are really taking hold here in the U.S. between all of the four big carriers. You could switch as they go. You know, as they make promos, you could switch to that plan. Or if the, if the performance of the network isn't to your liking, you switch. So definitely uh, number one in my book. And the last thing to address is where do you buy unlocked phones? Number one in my book, honestly, is eBay. Huge selection, great pricing. You can find lightly used. You can find phones that contain the original box, the charging cables, the cases, all types of accessories, and usually at great prices. Amazon, I know, is a big company, and people buy their um, phones through there. I don't advise it. I, I recommend eBay over Amazon, but that's something you could potentially do. I also like Swappa which is lesser known but very similar to eBay with respect to only electronic devices. And then, of course, Best Buy sells uh, new unlocked models, and they also have refurbished unlocked models, which could save you some money. And then, of course, you can go the local route with your you know, local Craigslist, offer up, let go. Any of those apps work great. Obviously, you take the safety precautions to make sure, you know, meeting in public places and you kind of, you know, make, make sure you take all those preventative steps so nothing bad happens. Uh, so that's the video. That's my first video in the top five reasons and this one to buy an unlocked smartphone. I hope you guys learned something. Hopefully that some of your questions were answered for those of you that were wondering what an unlocked smartphone is and how to buy them and what they mean. So uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, like it, share it, subscribe to the channel if you don't, haven't already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.